we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right Welcome to this week's Ask Charlie. I am really excited because it is summer holidays. The children break up today and we are heading down to Devon and I cannot wait. We haven't been down there since last September and we are all really, really excited. So I just thought I would quickly talk through how I get organised for packing and sort of my top top tips for packing for an English holiday. We are not calling it a staycation because we are not staying at home. We're going away. So it's not a staycation. It is an English holiday. We are quite lucky. Um, well, I don't know if it's lucky, but we are taking the trailer with us. So space isn't an object. I'm not limited to how much I need to take, which is actually quite a good thing when you are doing this kind of holiday because we will be surfing we'll be on the beach it, the weather's quite mixed it is going to be raining so really think of four seasons in one in one outfit it's not going to be really hot uh, summer dresses but it could be so I'm popping a bit of everything in to be honest from shorts to dresses to jeans workout gear I love to go and have um, sort of a bit of Pilates by the river lovely long walks and um, I love my exercise, I get so much out of it. So I do continue while we're on holiday, but purely sort of for my pleasure and my enjoyment. So I need to start filling my case. Shoes are in here and I just um, pop heavy items in the bottom first. So I've got those in there hair dryer, next, phone charger, very, very important. Then I have got my jeans and some shorts, so I'm gonna pop those in down here. But first, I actually put my underwear, I put my underwear in these little bags, so I know where everything is. So, bras, Bras, pants, very colourful ones, and I might even put my swim things in as well. And when I'm doing this, so I get all my bits out, and then as I'm putting things in, I might have a last minute change. I'm just taking one bikini, possibly won't even wear it couple of costumes uh, which are great those ones for surfing and then my pretty this is from H&M but I love 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 that one so swimwear in here too in fact I don't think I'm going to put it all in I'm going to put my socks in there instead I just like to have everything together and organized and we're not packing this for saving space. If I was packing to go abroad, I would be packing really differently. But this is what I do when we're going down to Devon. I don't want to be spending a lot of time washing, so I am taking, we're away for eight nights, I'm taking eight of everything with us. So I can wash if I, if the urge takes me. Uh, is that the right phrase? I'm not sure. If I feel the urge to wash, I can, but I'm not under pressure. I might just want to completely flop and that's totally fine too. This is a new Bowdoin bikini, which I quite like because oh, it's high-waisted, which hides that mummy tummy. 
I think when you're doing a self-catering holiday, and I know the setup down there obviously because it, it was my home, I want to be comfortable. I want to be able to sit down in the evening and feel cosy. It's very different when you're in a hotel, you're dressing for dinner. I'm just taking kind of really comfortable clothes, couple of smarter things that I can dress up if we go out in the evening or if we have friends over. So I'm kind of packing for all eventualities. I'm taking this book, which is teaching me how to create lists, which I'm really excited about diving into this. I'm taking my diary and then this is my notebook that I am creating from this book. And I will be doing a little bit of work while I'm down there. Hopefully not too much. And then I have got my embroidery as well. Uh, I don't know if I can easily show you. Um, taking this. Normally I would do some in the car, but actually we're driving down in the evening. So I think I won't tonight in the car. But I shall enjoy sitting uh sitting outside, hopefully by the river, having a little little stitch. Anyway, enough waffling. I must fill my case. So I've got some jeans, I've got some shorts, I've got a couple of skirts and a couple of really casual dresses. Those are my belts. I have got a few pairs of shoes, um, but we'll probably just be in flip-flops on the beach, but I don't know for sure. Anyway, I really am waffling and I must crack on. Currently in chaos, a car do has just delivered. Now I know most people get their food delivery when they get down there, which is probably the sensible thing to do, but actually it's so remote that a car do is just delivered here and we'll take it down. And then when I get there, I don't need to worry about doing food shop for a little while, although we will be going to the market to get fresh fruit and veg and things like that. Feeling a little bit bedraggled, to be honest. Totally packed up now. I have just got to whiz the hoover around downstairs. So I has gone to pick up the children from school. So I'm just going to do finishing touches, put a podcast in. I have got 30 minutes before they get back, change them and then into the car and down we head. We've just stopped at McDonald's. We're only an hour and 15 minutes into our epic journey. Arch has taken the dogs out and Simon has taken the other children in to McDonald's to get the food because I daren't do drive through with the horse trailer because we might get stuck. We also didn't get off to a great start because um, the children let the dogs out to put them in the car. So they've been for a walk, but I shut them away while I was getting everything packed up so nobody went missing. And Bonnie, sees the opportunity to scarper unbelievably quickly. There are two boy dogs down the road that she likes to go and visit. And she just went. Uh, size car is going to the garage to have some work done to it while we're away. So he went to find Bonnie and went to the garage. I drove into the garage with the trailer. And as I turned in, my heart sank. I was like, oh no, why? earth did I do that? I should have gone to Tesco's across the road and pulled up in there because I couldn't get, I couldn't manoeuvre. <laughs> so luckily, I mean how lucky was this? There was a friend with her husband at the garage and he is an expert at reversing. I mean I'm okay at reversing but not onto a main road with everybody watching and having to hold the traffic. Suddenly my heart was racing and I was thinking, no, no, I don't want to get off to a really bad start. Imagine starting our holiday with a massive brow with me reversing into the road and it was all going horribly wrong. So sweetly he reversed for me and then we jumped in and now we're here at McDonald's. I'm hoping um, I'll probably do a couple more hours driving and then hopefully Sarah will take over. That is Stonehenge, where the Druids gather at Solstice. Now, honey 
people are often driving along here and you can see the wild ponies on the side of the road, which I always get really excited as I always know that we're nearly, nearly there. Anyway, so I was doing a wonderful job driving us. And um, yeah, we've got uh, not too much longer to go. Aunt Nina is just gorgeous and there's Uncle Rick over there, Uncle Rick's sister, who's my mother's best friend and I'm best friends with Laura, they're, they're, they're niece, they're niece, Nina's niece. And this is apparently the best looking, well of course he's the best looking, fruit and veg, so we're just buying all of our fruit and veg, <laughs> which is lovely, get it all fresh. For me, the mornings when I can get up early and just go for a walk while everybody's still sleeping back at the house and I can take the dogs. No earbuds, just my own thoughts. Just time for me, time to reflect, time to just be and enjoy the beauty of the place that we're in. The wildflowers in the hedgerows, the birds singing and the sound of the river babbling past. This makes me feel so lucky to be alive, invigorated and excited of what the future has to bring. Milking time up at the farm. I love coming up here on my walk. Just the view is so spectacular. You can actually on a clear day see across to the sea. This is a spot where Mum's ashes are scattered. She wanted to be up here so she could look down on the farmhouse and the river bubbling below. I can hear it, it's so beautiful. I love listening to the birds tweeting. And I come and chat to her up here and I ask her advice. She was really good at chatting. She was really good at listening and she gave incredible advice. And sometimes if I just don't know the answer to something, a bit lost or a bit confused I come up here and <laughs> natural way it might sound ridiculous but actually I take great comfort in it I just love coming up here it's where mum's ashes are scattered and it was her favorite place on the farm too she bought the farm 22 years ago it was derelict, completely run down. 
I was actually traveling in Nepal, working in an orphanage, and I got an email from her saying, I found paradise. And I wrote back and said, what's the house like? She never replied. The first time I saw it was the day we moved in. It was almost unlivable in, it was revolting. She had such incredible vision. She was divorced, she was single with two children, she was pretty broken, but she had this incredible vision for this place and she's transformed it into the most wonderful home and now holiday lets that I can run and we can keep the house and the farm and enjoy it as a family and let loads of other people come and enjoy it as well. Uh, yeah, it's working there. Right, Charlie, we will see you soon. Have fun, guys. something so exhilarating about surfing. It's just incredible being out there in the sea, trying to catch a wave. You have to clear your mind of everything and just focus on the moment, the present, the now and what you're doing. And I love that about sport. You just have to live for the moment. And it's so exhilarating and invigorating when you come out slightly battered around by the waves but just feeling alive and that to me is the best feeling in the world how did she do jamie Sorry. Did, how did she do and they need to be unbelievable uh, so turn up, up, turn up he's about four hours late unbelievable. He's, 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 over, over, he's overpaid <laughs> he'll say anything <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed this week's Ask Charlie. I've had so much fun filming it and bringing you down to Devon with us and sharing a little bit of our holiday with you all. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you've liked it. Remember to subscribe, to ring the bell to be notified of my weekly videos. Sending you lots and lots of love, wishing you a happy, happy weekend and I will see you again next week.